10,000 years ago, on the prehistoric continent of North America, dire wolves were constantly on the prowl. They put their lives at risk every time the pack began the hunt. Taking on large prey like horse would, sooner or later, bring injury or death to one of the pack. We see it today with the gray wolf, as it carries on the age-old struggle between predator and prey, like the bison. Bison are very formidable, very dangerous. And so in the wintertime, when there's deep snows, wolves can corner bison in areas where they are less effective at defending themselves. But even with a stranded bison, the wolves take special care. These encounters can last days, where they'll have a bull bison isolated on a patch of bare ground surrounded by snow on all sides. And that bison will basically fight to the end, and the wolves will just keep after it. This video shows a battle between a small pack of wolves and a bison that lasted for 36 hours. The wolves use their numbers to continually poke and prod, wearing down the giant beast. But the strength and surprising agility of the bison makes it a dangerous adversary. The incidence of injury, we think, is higher with wolves hunting bison. They'll often be kicked off if the bison continues to wheel about, the bison will throw them into the air. Maybe the bison will hook him with her, his horns and toss them into the air. You see a lot more limping wolves than you do wolves that are hunting elk, and that's likely been sustained from some encounter with the bison. The bison desperately struggles to fend off the pack, but despite injuries to some of them, the tenacity of the wolves eventually pays off. The gray wolf faces this kind of danger every time it hunts for larger prey. It must have been much more perilous for the dire wolf, as it was taking on bigger, stronger animals that were living in larger herds. The dire wolves compensated by pursuing these herds with larger packs. This would have helped, but only to a point. Though the dire wolf ran in super packs, when the time came to attack, the lead wolf was on his own literally putting his life on the line. The fossil 